Hi folks, Bill Padalon, editor of Private Briefing here for a Money Morning Minute. I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk to you today about what happened with U.S. stocks. Now, I'm sure you've all seen, you know, the Dow, the bellwether, you know, the, the blue chip index that everybody watches it was down as much as nearly 900 points at one point today. So, before we get started here, I'm going to commit a little bit of investment blasphemy. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You know, folks get so caught up about you know, every little wiggle, every little wobble, you know, every little headline, you know, what happens in stocks today, you know, what, do we, what can we expect tomorrow? The real money isn't made in the here and now. It's not made tomorrow. Yeah, it's not made next week. It's made in the long run. In the long run, wealth is made or big losses are created. And what I'm gonna do here today is give you a couple of tips on how to make sure you're in the, the first camp, the wealth camp, and not in the second camp, the loser camp. Now, let me tell you a quick story uh, about the United States. Going back to 1900, you know, America was a kind of a, an up and coming country, but it was still pretty small. You know, about $20 billion was the economy. You know, about $500 billion in today's money. You know, fast forward to 2019. You're talking about a $20 trillion economy. And think about all the things we've gone through since then. I mean, you know, we've had two world wars. We had uh, Korea, we had Vietnam, we had the Cold War. We had political assassinations. Uh, we had the Great Depression. We had the Great Recession. We had the savings and loan crisis. We had 9-11. I mean, and I could go on and on and on. You know, the stock market is a lot like this. I mean, you're gonna have all these like pitfalls or potholes or landmines or, or you know, horrid, like seemingly end of the world events that, that, that seem to come up and you know, it's gonna end all possibility of making money. You know, you're, the losses that are gonna stretch from here to eternity and that just isn't reality. Um, now I know that the, the, the scenario I gave you was, was you know, uh, you know 100 and, 120 years. You don't have to wait nearly that long to make a lot of money. Um, you need to take a couple of simple steps. You know, when, when things like this happen, you need to step back, you know, take a deep breath, and look at what you're doing. You know, you know, look at your the stocks you're holding. Do you have any real dogs? I mean, you have you know, stocks that are you know they're big losers. You know, you know that they're not going to come back. You've been you've been holding on to them just kind of in the in the, the the long hope that maybe something would happen. Dump them. Get rid of. Get get rid of them. <laughs> just like that get get rid of them um you know don't hold on to your losers um and then and then take a look at okay how do i feel about risk am i am i holding you know is stuff like this when it comes up and you start to see these wild gyrations am i dealing with am i holding on to things that don't let me sleep at night because what happens is if you are you start to get really worried and you're and you're much more likely to make you know a knee-jerk reaction and make a big mistake reassess what you have you know, look at what you're holding. If it's if it's too risky, you know, if it's if it's something you, you, you don't feel comfortable with, you know, cut it loose. And here's the, and here's the last thing you need to do. And this is really key. You know, in you know most people look at things, you know, events like today, and they look at it as, as a as a as a bad event, as a as a problem, as a as a sinkhole, as a pothole, as a landmine. It's not. It's an opportunity. You know. I keep a running shopping list of, of companies that I would really like to own at the right price. And then I look for opportunities to own them. You know, and when, when events like this happen today, and even if it's a if it's a, a downturn that's gonna stretch into the into the you know, you know, maybe into a longer term you know, situation, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, even in the next year, you know, look to start accumulating the stocks that you wanna own and, and uh, as you as they fall back. You know, buy, buy more, or as you get more cash, buy more. And that is the way that wealth is created in the long run. And take that, you know, start, use today as a starting point. Um, you'll, you'll thank me for it. And, and we'll be back here again with some more tips. I'm Bill Padlon for Private Briefing. It was great to talk to you today.